One of the things that you open with so boldly in your book is talking about bias. I think bias for researchers is something that you are way ahead of the curve on. Now it's something that's being widely talked about. But can you talk more about what's an analytical framework that future researchers or today's researchers can be thinking about? How do they protect against their own biases or even acknowledge them in the research that they're doing? You know, I'm very biased. <laughs> I think we all are. I'm very biased. My bias comes from my upbringing where an older woman took me in, older black woman took me in, and along with other ch children. So when I th think about family, it is very different from researchers who say that the nuclear family is the only family that matters. Um, I, I think all researchers to put their biases up front because we all have them. The more we put them up front, the more we can see where our research is headed. So much of the paradigms we use actually predict for our outcomes. Um, and so the more we can um, put our biases up front, challenge them at times, um, have others refute them. The, you know, the great thing about um, um, being at a think tank, you can find people who don't think like you, who come have a different background, backgrounds, and you can get in the same room and you can talk it out. I think we all need to do that. We, we, we need to inspect our biases, but um, that's why diversity matters. And it's, it's um, not just racial diversity, it's, um, it's strengths, you need different strengths, you need, um, uh, different backgrounds of all kinds, uh, because you can get better ideas at the end of the day. And so for me, um, I really challenge biases, um, in, in, because we're going to have them. Um, it's a matter of what are you going to put up front to people.